Vlogmas day eight. Right now I am uptown. I am heading to an appointment. Lyle and I are picking out our wedding bands. So while we do that, I am going to play clips from the other day where I went to go see the Wadi New York Palace Hotel. It is um, this hotel here in New York that does the most beautiful holiday decorations. But yeah, so I'm gonna skip to that and then I will see you guys after my appointment. Okay guys, so I have now come to the Bloody New York Palace, which you might recognize from the show Gossip Girl. This is where Serena and the Vander Woodson family kind of stayed for a bit while they're renovating their home in the first season. But it is so iconic and it's so classic New York. It's so beautiful, I love it. I actually think that this tree might be prettier than the Rockefeller Christmas tree. <laughs> that one's pretty too, but this one's just a little bit more elegant and it's smaller. Obviously this hotel is really nice, so it's beautiful inside too. Here it is a bit closer. I just love the arch and the tree and all of the lights. They were renovating it over the last couple of years, but they finally have opened it up and it's so beautiful. It's even more beautiful than it was before and it does gr gather a big crowd to take photos because it is so pretty. Lots and lots of bloggers too. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy it, take a couple photos probably, and uh, just enjoy the lights. <laughs> It's breathtaking. I'm just going to show you guys inside a little bit because if they let me, I don't know, because it's even prettier inside, so let's go. of Gossip Girl scenes were filmed. Alright, so appointment was great and hope you guys enjoyed seeing the palace. I am now going to stay uptown because I have some work calls. So I'm actually just going to work from Lyle's office for like a little bit because I have some calls and I don't have time to make it back.
went home now. There's so many cute like holiday things up here. There's this truck behind me. I mean, obviously there's always like in New York in the summertime, there's always the ice cream trucks, but this one is a hot chocolate truck that is so festive. It says hot chocolate and pop. Actually, I might get some. Thank you. That was actually a really good idea because my hands were freezing, but now I'm all warm because this hot chocolate is super warm. What a fun little find. I'm gonna pop up around here, just check on the tree, you know, my usual. <laughs> Here's the Cartier building, all nice and sparkly. The sun's starting to go down in the next couple hours, so that's when it starts to look really nice. Rockefeller Christmas tree at Christmas gives me the same feeling as seeing the Eiffel Tower when I'm in Paris. Like, you know when you're in Paris and like, well I guess, I don't know, every time you turn the corner and then you see it, you're like, oh, it's kind of like that. I don't know, it's just like a special thing too because it's not, it's not there all year round. It's just there when it's the holiday season and it's so special and, and everyone comes from like all over the world to come see it. It's just really cool. Um, so yeah, that's the tree. Um, anthropology is right here, so I might, I know I've been in there like a million times this season, but I might just pop in and I might just look in J. Crew real quick too, because it's right across the street. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in christmas times we'll be chilling and having a good good time doesn't matter if the snow is falling couch I came back home I did a little bit of looking around shopping uptown and then I came back here and I've just been sitting on the coziness of the couch with the heater on and I've just been doing work with my laptop while staring at the Christmas tree that's one of my favorite things around the holidays is like sitting by the tree and just doing work it makes doing work a lot <laughs> better but yeah so I've just been sitting here doing work and I just ordered some dinner, so I feel like when I'm running around outside, I just crave like warm comfort foods in the winter time. And so I really wanted mac and cheese, so I just ordered it and it's being delivered. But as soon as that's delivered, I'm going to sign off. It's already like 5.30 right now and I'm going to watch a Christmas movie and probably put some comfy like PJs on and just kind of have a night in. Usually on a night like this, I would be out and about, going to a workout class, and then coming back and eating something really healthy for dinner. But tonight, I'm just kind of feeling the like staying in, holiday cozying up vibes. So that's what I'm gonna do. Falling for Christmas. It's the one that came out last year with Lindsay Lohan, and I think it's just so cute how she stays in that, like, the North Star Lodge, and, like, they kind of take her in, and it's just cute, very heartwarming. So, yeah, that was nice to just kind of sit down for a bit and watch a movie and kind of relax. But it is getting late now, so before I end the vlog, let's open today's advent calendar. 
Alright, so day eight. Down here. Oh, you can't even see that. <laughs> day eight is down here. Ooh. This one feels like more of a rounded pot shape. <gasps> oh, this is pretty. What is this? So this is what just came out of the box. And it says that it is... The lip polish, it sounds like it is an exfoliant. Let's open it up. Ooh, it's like pink. And this color in here is pink too. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, this smells good. It smells like peppermint. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. So based on the website, it's very pretty and it looks like it has little granules in it as sort of a scrub to exfoliate the lips. Okay, how to use three times a week. Use flat side of, of applicator. This, yeah, no, did not come with an applicator, but that's okay. To smooth a small amount onto lips. Use rich side of applicator to massage onto lips in circular motions. Remove excess polish with a tissue or cloth. For the ultimate transformation, follow with the lip volumizer and the lip balm. Okay, well, there is no applicator, so I'm just going to try this with my fingers, maybe because this is a smaller version, but it's very soft. Oh, I can feel the granules now. Okay. They're very fine. Ooh, this smells good. Hmm. I feel like that definitely exfoliated my lips, but I'll still moisturize them at the same time. And I love this packaging, the gold and the pink together. It's super pretty. I can feel the granulars, the gr granulars, the little pieces left over, but my lips just feel moisturized afterwards. So that's nice. Maybe, I think I read there was a review, somebody said that they liked it as a nighttime lip treatment so you know that's always fun but yeah fun day eight but anyways <laughs> that is it thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed the day today it was a fun day it was nice to get out of the house go uptown have my wedding band appointment that was like ugh, really fun and we showed the lottie new york palace um so great day overall Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> bye.